Tone three minutes till game time. Three minutes till game time. the tone two minutes till game time two minutes till game time the tone one minute till game time one minute till game time Thirty seconds till pregame broadcast. Ten seconds till pregame broadcast. Five seconds till pregame broadcast. The following high school sports is a free service of Withers Broadcasting. This is Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. This season of Cape Central Tigers basketball is brought to you by Allstate Hester Agency, Cape Career and Technology Center, Dutch Enterprises, Garber's Men's Wear, St. Francis Medical Systems, Stone Mountain Carpet, Strickland Engineering, and DollarSavingDeals.com. Let's sit it down to Ryan Winkler for all your play-by-play action on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ryan Winkler coming to you from Christian Brothers College in St. Louis as the Tigers are going to take on the Cadets from Christian Brothers. And the starting lineups for you as I get this set back up. They sprung the national anthem on me a little bit quicker than I expected. So the starting lineups for um, first four, CBC, it'll be number three, Elijah Bobo. Number 11, Landon Schlanger. Number 23, Teron Garrett. Number 30, Dorian DeBose. And number 33, Bryce Parson. And then for the Tigers, it's a little different. Max Vogel not here tonight. So it'll be Mateo Rivers starting along with Tyson Williams, Markwell Murray, Tyshawn Gray Edwards, and Jay Reynolds. spotlight for their introductions here at CBC. It's a nice little campus, so walking around, walking through as I was, as I got here um, just before the JV game started. Not, not far from Missouri Baptist University. Getting ready here for the opening tip between the Cape Central Tigers and the CBC Cadets. Yes. The Tigers wearing their gray road uniforms here tonight. As CBC in their home whites. Ty Chandra Edwards going up for the opening tip and it'll be won by the Tigers as it goes to Jay Reynolds here on the near sideline. He'll pass it towards the top of the key as Edwards has it. He'll get it to Murray, drives to the top again, backs up as he gets picked up by the defense. Murray at the top of the key. Over to the right side, Edwards, his pass will be stolen away by the cadets and we're going the other way as they stop right before they get to half court. Work it to the top of the key. Get it inside, dumps down to the baseline for Parson. And Parson can't get it to fall. Ball on the floor, fighting for it. Parson will pick it up, pass it off. It's stolen away as we go the other way for the Tigers. And now that ball's loose and picked up by CBC. Go back the other way we go. Pulling up for three is Garrett, his shot's no good. We go the other way again as Murray will lay it up, but he's fouled, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. Landon Schlanger picks up his first foul, and that sends Markwell Murray to the line to shoot two. 6.54 left here in the first quarter. And the first free throw is no good. Still no score between these two teams. Second free throw is up and it's good. So Tigers lead one to nothing here against CBC. Pass it up to Garrett across over to Schlanger. Schlanger will get it down court over on the left side and they'll give it back to him. Passes down to the baseline for Garrett. Garrett has the ball knocked away, and now it's stolen away. Edwards will pass it down, and it's going to be picked off by Schlanger. Pass down to the other end of the court. Bobo with a pump fake, drives to the basket, puts up a tough shot. It's no good, but he's fouled, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. Tyson Williams will pick up a foul. And Elijah Bobo to the line to shoot two free throws. First free throw, it rolls around the rim and falls through. So we're tied at one.
Second free throw is good. So two to one, CBC leads. As Tyson Williams brings the ball up court for Cape Central, passes back near midcourt for Mateo Rivers. Rivers tries to get it to Murray and it's stolen away. Down to the other end, shot blocked against the backboard by Murray and now Rivers will come away with it. Pass it down court to Williams, it's open and he'll throw it down for the two-handed slam dunk to give the Tigers a one-point lead, three to two. Trapped over on the sideline. They'll get it passed out to Bobo on the right side. His three is no good, it's short rebound tipped and it's picked up by Murray. He'll get it up to Edwards, but he has it taken away before he could get a good grip on the ball. And now Garrett will, take lead, will slowly take it across half court. He's gonna take his time into Schlanger at the free throw line, drives in, shot off the backboard, no good. Rebound comes to Reynolds. And now Reynolds will push it down court, gives it up to Murray who will lay it up and in. And it's a five to two game. Schlanger will inbound it. He'll get it in to DeBose. He gets it up to Bobo. Back to DeBose. Top of the key, drives into the free throw line, has it knocked away. Picks it up off the floor. He'll get it out to Garrett on the right side. Garrett drives in, he kicks it out, gives it over to Brent Benson Moore. I'm oh, sorry, Parson. Bryce Parson makes it a one point game, five to four. Reynolds drives the lane, kicks it out to Williams. He'll start to drive, and it goes off the foot of Garrett and out of bounds. And we're going to be substitution here. It'll be Tyler Weber. Weber will come into the game for CBC. As Mateo Rivers will get the inbound pass. Rivers passes over to Reynolds. Reynolds on the left side. Dribble to the free throw line, step back with a fadeaway jumper, got it to fall. Three point lead for the Tigers, seven to four. Garrett passes it up to Weber. Weber get it back to Garrett as he gets to the top of the key. Dumps it down inside to Schlanger, it's knocked away and it's gonna be picked up by the Tigers as Edwards will take it down to the other end. Loses the basketball, it's saved from going out of bounds, gets it to Schlanger, he'll get it back to Garrett. Now Garrett will bring it up court for the cadets over to the right side for Weber. Weber starts to drive, kicks it out. Schlanger for three. No good off the front of the rim. Rivers pushes it up court for a central over to Murray and his shot's blocked off the backboard. And the ball will be picked up by CBC. They'll get it up to Garrett. No look pass down to the baseline and there's a foul on the shot. And the foul's on Tyshondre Edwards, his first. That'll send Tyler Weber to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. So he cuts the lead down to a two point lead. A substitution for CBC. Wabe Guerrier. Guerrier, sorry. We'll come into the game as the free throw, second free throw is good, and it's seven to six. Reynolds will slowly bring it up court for Cape Central, get it across the timeline, hand it off to Murray. He'll dribble over to the left side, hand it off to Rivers. Pass back to the left wing for Tyson Williams, down to the baseline. Edwards will take a step back, pull up for the jumper, got it. Tyshondre Edwards gives the Tigers a three point lead once again, nine to six. Drives to the free throw line is Garrett. He's got his shot blocked and stolen away by Reynolds. Reynolds driving to the basket, high off the glass and in. Reynolds, the SEMO commit. And Garrett has an offer from SEMO. And then driving down into the basket, into the lane, I should say. Will be fouled by Tyson Williams. as Bobo drove to the basket and drew the blocking foul. Pulling up for three as Elijah Bobo will make it a two point game, 11 to nine. Reynolds will bring it up for the Tigers. He's gonna back it up now, back to midcourt. 
He's going to let the offense set up. 11-9, Tigers lead 2.41 left here in the first quarter. Over to Murray. Murray pulls up for three. Got it. Murray with a big three-pointer for the Tigers. Makes it 14-9. CBC brings it up, and it's picked. Oh, almost picked. Huh? Tap picked away by Rivers. And now they're going to call a double dribble on Garrett. As Goliath Morris Young will check into the game for the Tigers. Malik Nevels also checks in. He checks in for CBC. 14 to 9, 217 left here in the first quarter. Murray will inbound it to Reynolds. Reynolds will walk it up across half court, hand it off as Murray steps back on the CBC logo at midcourt. Over to Reynolds on the right side, back towards the top. Back to Reynolds, he's open. He'll take the deep three. A little too strong, but the rebound comes straight to Rivers. He'll get it out to Murray. Murray for three. Got it again. It's two three-pointers for Markwell Murray as the cadets try to push it down court quickly, but they're cut off by the defense. Pass it over to the right side for Weber. He'll spin towards the basket. Shot off the glass, a little off balance, but a nice shot by Weber as we go quickly down the other side. Murray kicks it out to Edwards. Pump fake drives in, hands it off to Murray on the baseline. One dribble towards the basket. Shot is no good as it couldn't quite fall over the front of the rim, but he's fouled, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. As it's 17 to 11, Tigers. Team foul number two for CBC, and the foul was on Tyler Weber. So Murray's going to shoot two here. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw is also good, so he makes them both. As they inbound it to, they've got different players. <laughs> Nevels will swing it down into into Weber on the base, inside the lane. Can't get his shot to go, but the rebound will come to Guerrero, and Guerrero will get his shot to fall. Reynolds over to Rivers, back to Reynolds. He'll pull up for three. It's good. Reynolds with another three for the Tigers. Makes it 22 to 13. Over to Bobo. They'll get it back to Nevels, back to Bobo. Bobo pulls up for three and he got it. So Elijah Bobo with a three pointer makes it a six point game with 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter. They'll get it over to Reynolds as he walks it up across the timeline. Tigers are going to try to hold on here for the last shot. Reynolds dribbles to the right side, back to Rivers. Into the free throw line for Morris Young. Down to the baseline for Edwards. Fade away one footed, fade away one footed shot. It's no good. Rebound by CBC, but now it's stolen away by Edwards. He'll spin to the basket, put up a tough shot, and he got it to fall. So he may have missed the one, but he makes up for it with a shot right there towards the end of the first quarter. Two seconds, Weber for three, too strong, and that'll do it for the first quarter. The Tigers lead 24 to 16. And we'll be back after this. Listening to Cape Central Tiger basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. Are you ready for more out of life? Gain the skills and knowledge you need at the Cape Career and Technology Center to pursue a new career as an emergency medical technician, a dental assistant, medical assistant, practical nurse, or a medical coder. Cape CTC gets you job ready with a fast paced and focused curriculum. Visit our website today at capectc.org. Your career and technology center, Cape Girardeau CTC. The CTC is a proud supporter of Cape Central High School. 
Go Tigers! Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. When you need a helping hand, Allstate agent Matt Hester is here for you. He believes in protecting what matters most to you, from your home to your car to your life and everything in between. Allstate's Matt Hester can tailor a personalized insurance plan just for you. Contact Matt Hester today and experience what it's like to have an insurance agent truly care for you. Call 573-334-0996 or go online for quotes. You're in good hands with Allstate's Matt Hester. You're home for Cape Central Tigers basketball. Cape Radio 95-7. Back here at CBC High School, I'm Ryan Winkler as the Tigers lead here uh, 24-16 over at CBC. Inbounded here to Garrett, and Garrett will give it back. Over to the right, left side for Bobo, gives it to Garrett near the top of the key. Garrett will drive the left side, inside the lane, passes it to the baseline, back out, swing it around, back out to Garrett at the top. Garrett over into the right corner for Bobo. Bobo gets it out to the wing, top of the key, pulling up for three is Garrett, and Garrett will get it the fall. And it's 24 to 19. Rivers will hand it off to Reynolds. Reynolds will give it to Murray. Murray back over to Rivers on the right side. Back to Murray. Fake pass to the left over to the right side for Rivers for three off the back of the rim and out. Rebound will come to CBC. They'll get it to Garrett. And now Garrett will bring the ball up court. Over to the right side. Dribbles towards the top of the key. He'll get it out to Garrett now. He'll pull up for three. And he gets it to fall again. And Garrett makes it a two-point game just like that. It's 24-22. Over to the right side for Murray. Murray, a pass across court to Rivers. Down to Morris Young. Into the free throw line. Just below the free throw line. Jumper from Reynolds is no good. And we're going back the other way with CBC. We'll slow it down, pass over to the left side. Now down to Garrett as he drives to the basket. Goes up and under, can't get it the fall. Rebound will come to Rivers. Rivers will slow it down a little bit to let the defense pass him up. Gives it to Edwards. He'll pull up for a deep two as his foot was on the line. He gets it to fall, makes it a four-point game. left here in the second quarter. Pass it off to Benson Moore. Down to the right corner. He'll kick it back out. Top of the key. Bobo for three. Got it again. And Bobo makes it a one-point game. Pass across over to Rivers on the left side. 26-25, 26-25, Rivers with a jumper, got it to fall. Makes it a three-point game. Over on the right side. Pass it off to Benson Moore. Moore will give it off to the left side, driving to the basket. He'll go up for the shot, he's fouled. So that'll send DeBoas to the line for Two free throws. The foul's on Goliath Goliath Morris Young. That's his first. Dorian DeBose will step the line to shoot two. First one is up and it's good. both as he makes it a one-point game, 28-27. Full court press for the Cadets as Reynolds gets it across half court. He'll dribble to the right side, straight to the basket, and then we're going to get a foul. 
called away from the basket on the floor. And that's on Bobo. That's his first. Team foul number one the, here in the second quarter for the Cadets. We'll get it back to the top of the key. Over to Rivers, down to the baseline for Edwards. Edwards with a, nope, they're going to call a travel and he'll turn it over. Cadets will get it across half court, and a pass down to Garrett is over his head and behind him as it goes out of bounds on the baseline. 4.31 left here in the second quarter. Tigers up by one, 28-27. Rivers will slowly bring the ball down court. Will make his way to the right side, starts to drive, and then... They're going to say he carried the basketball. And he'll turn it over. 4.18 left here in the second quarter. Schlanger will inbound it here for the Cadets. Over to the left side, pass into the free throw line for Schlanger, down to the baseline. Tough shot, but Benson Moore gets it to fall. Oh, sorry, Bryce Parson. And the Cadets now lead by one as Murray will dribble to the left side. Pass down to the baseline for Morris Young. Back out for Murray. Murray starts to drive, kicks it out, swing it to around to the top of the key for Reynolds. Reynolds will push it, pass across, and Rivers had cut in towards the basket away from the corner. And so it goes out of bounds. So CBC with a chance to extend the lead. They're up by one, 29-28. Three and a half to go here in the second quarter. As Parsons will hand it off over on the left side. Get it to Garrett at the top of the key. Dribbles to the left side, down below the three-point line towards the corner. Works it back out to the wing. Bounce pass to the block. Tough shot hits the back of the rim and kind of dies and falls out. And it's going to go out of bounds. Last touched by Edwards. So the, top, or the Cadets will inbound it here on the baseline. Pass it all the way back out to the top of the key. Almost lost it, but he's able to corral it. They'll get it over to Bo Bobo. And now Bobo will have his pass stolen away as we start to go the other way. And it's stolen away back again by the Cadets. They'll give it to Garrett. Garrett starts to drive, gets cut off. They'll get it down to Schlanger on the baseline. Try to go under the basket. Ball is almost stolen away by Rivers. And it goes out of bounds off his foot, and it'll stay with the Cadets. So Taylor Weber will check into the game for CBC. We'll get it into Weber on the baseline. A little bit of a baby hook, and he'll get it to fall over the side of the rim. Two, or sorry, three-point lead now for the Cadets, 31 to 28, and Edwards will travel. And Weber will inbound it here on the sideline. He gets it in. I don't have that kid on the roster here. I'll give it to Schlanger as he drives to the basket, has it partially blocked, loses it, gets it out to Reynolds. Reynolds will push it up court for the Tigers and lay it up and in on the right side. And he's going to cut it down to a one-point lead. Garrett with a fadeaway jumper from the elbow, no good, rebound to Schlanger, and Schlanger will get it to go. And get him back up to a three-point lead. Pulling up for three is Reynolds, and it hits the back of the rim and dies. And it'll be rebounded by CBC. We're going to go the other way now. Up on the left side. He'll pass over to Weber on the right wing. Starts to drive to the basket. Tough shot, and he's fouled. 
He'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul's on Goliath Morris Young. As Tyler Weber will head to the line to shoot three or shoot two, excuse me. I think we're having some technical difficulties. He makes the first one. Technical difficulties here on YouTube. I think at halftime, we're a minute 40 away from halftime. At halftime, I'm going to try to some, try something different and see if I can get it running better. But until then, is Weber will make his second free throw. You can always switch over to Cape Radio 957.com and listen to the game until I get this figured out. Or you can just hang in there and wait till halftime. Murray for three, it's no good. Rebound will come down to Garrett for CBC. And now we're going back the other way. Over to Weber. Weber for three. Got it. And Weber gives the Cadets an eight-point lead here in this second quarter. Down to Murray in the left corner. Into Edwards as he drives to the basket. And there will be a foul called on CBC. That one is on Benson. Benson Moore. Pull up for the jumper. Reynolds, it's short off the front of the rim, and now the ball is passed, and it'll go out of bounds. A minute four, and the Tigers... We'll inbound it here on the baseline. Murray back to midcourt for Rivers. Rivers on the right side. He'll hand it off to Reynolds. Reynolds to Rivers. Drives the base, or sorry, drives the lane, kicks it out to Murray. Under a minute, 50 seconds to go. Bounce pass to the baseline into the lane for Edwards. His first shot's no good, but his putback is, and it's 38 to 32. As Garrett gets across half court, picked up by Reynolds. Possible teammates next year at SEMO as Reynolds, like I said, has committed to SEMO. And Garrett has an offer from SEMO. And he's got some interest in other schools from what one of the coaches told me as we get a timeout here with 19.9 seconds left here in the second quarter. As the Tigers trail 38 to 32 to CBC with 19.9 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Sorry, first half, not first quarter. So stat-wise for CBC, they've got Two players with 11 points, Tyler Weber and Elijah Bobo, both with 11. And on the Tigers' side, Murray has 11, Edwards has eight, Reynolds has nine. And the Cadets will inbound it over on the far sideline. They'll throw it back near, or sorry, back behind half court. It's almost tipped away by Murray. But they're able to corral it. He picks up his dribble, he'll give it to Garrett. And Garrett may have gotten away with a the travel there, so dribble to the right side, left side. And they're gonna call foul on Garrett. Garrett was using his arm to kind of hook Murray. And he, the official on the baseline caught him and called, it out, called him out on it. So five seconds left, they'll get it into Murray. Murray will dribble, pull up from just at the three-point line. It's no good, and the rebound will come down to the CBC. So we'll go to the half, and the Tigers trailing 38-32 to here to CBC. We'll be right back after this with the halftime show. You're listening to Cape Central Tiger Basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. When you walk through the doors of St. Francis, you're putting your health first. 
Because our doctors know how important you are to your friends, to your family, and to a community that we're proud to call home. We know what the people of this community mean because we are those people. And that's why at St. Francis, people come first. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. When you need a helping hand, Allstate agent Matt Hester is here for you. He believes in protecting what matters most to you, from your home to your car to your life and everything in between. Allstate's Matt Hester can tailor a personalized insurance plan just for you. Contact Matt Hester today and experience what it's like to have an insurance agent truly care for you. Call 573-334-0996 or go online for quotes. You're in good hands with Allstate's Matt Hester. Get in the game and show your support for your Central Tiger sports with Garber's Menswear. Their community-driven brand proudly supports these young athletes, fostering teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship. Garber's has been a community staple in the town plazas since 1960, and they're proud to support our youth as they grow into adult members of the community. Join them in cheering our student athletes on to victory. Together, Garber's and our community can build a brighter future, one game at a time. Go Tigers! Best of luck to Cape Central Tigers from Strickland Engineering. Providing mechanical, electrical, civil, structural, and industrial engineering, Strickland Engineering has solutions for a variety of clients. Reach out to Strickland for surveying services as well. Find Strickland online at stricklandengineering.com. That's stricklandengineering.com. For your local engineering excellence for over 40 years, Strickland Engineering is proud to support the Cape Central Tigers. Go Tigers! Are you ready to transform your space from drab to fab? Look no further than Stone Mountain Flooring, your one-stop destination for all your flooring needs. Whether you're revamping your home or giving your office a fresh new look, Stone Mountain's extensive selection of high-quality flooring will inspire your imagination and elevate your space. From LVT to carpet, tiles, and more, Stone Mountain has the perfect flooring solution for you. Call 573-335-8050 or visit Stone Mountain Flooring on Seamers Drive in Cape. Are you ready for more out of life? Gain the skills and knowledge you need at the Cape Career and Technology Center to pursue a new career as an emergency medical technician, a dental assistant, medical assistant, practical nurse, or a medical coder. Cape CTC gets you job ready with a fast paced and focused curriculum. Visit our website today at capectc.org. Your career and technology center, Cape Girardeau CTC. The CTC is a proud supporter of Cape Central High School. Go Tigers! Back to the action, it's Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95 7. So back, <clears throat> back here at CBC here at the half as the Tigers trail by six, 38 to 32. And another tough game here in the St. Louis area for Cape Central, but playing a much better today than against Vachon on Saturday. This is the first game of the week for the Tigers. There's a game tonight and then another on Friday and one on Saturday. And we'll talk about the, uh, those two games in the post-game show. For now, here at the half, the halftime stats for you. First for Christian Brothers, Elijah Bobo with 11 points. Logan Schlanger, Landon Schlanger, sorry, with two points. Tyler Weber with 11. Teron Garrett with six. Dorian DeBose with two. Bryce Parson with four. And Hove Garrier with two. And then for the Tigers, Mateo Rivers with two. Tyson Williams with two. Markwell Murray with 11. Tyshondra Edwards with eight. Jay Reynolds with nine. Nobody really in foul trouble. Williams and Reynolds, or sorry, Williams and Morris Young with two fouls each for the Tigers. And for CBC, just one, two, three, four, five, five players with one foul each. Score by quarter, the Tigers had 24 in the first, 16 in the, or sorry, 24 in the first, eight in the second. And then the Cadets had 16 in the first and 22 in the second. So, Outscoring one team outscored the other by quite a bit. 
as CBC with that 22-8 second quarter is what helped them get in the lead and now extend it to six as we're just waiting for the two teams to come back out of the locker room. The Tigers playing well in that first quarter as they had three fouls in the first quarter and then two in the second. CBC had two in the first and three in the second, so they just traded the amount of fouls in each quarter. And the free throw line is one of the di big differences. The Tigers are, let's free, are uh, three for four from the free throw line. They're shooting 75% where the uh, cadets are eight for eight from the free throw line. So too many shooting fouls for the Tigers and not enough drawing fouls when they go up for shots for Cape Central. They've only got the four free throws altogether. And the only person who's shot free throws for the Tigers is Marquel Murray. We're looking for a big third quarter and hopefully a big fourth quarter to shut down the cadets as they are missing a few players from um, Saturday. They had an altercation between their two teams, between themselves and East St. Louis as there was a, a quote-unquote fight between the two teams, kind of just pushing and shoving, really. And so they've got players who have been suspended for a game due to that, and this happens to just be their, their next game, so they have to sit out here against Cape Central. We're about three minutes away from starting the second half, so we're going to go ahead and take a break, and then when we come back, we'll have the third quarter. You're listening to Cape Central Tiger Basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. When you walk through the doors of St. Francis, you're putting your health first because our doctors know how important you are to your friends, to your family, and to a community that we're proud to call home. We know what the people of this community mean because we are those people. And that's why at St. Francis, people come first. Call Dutch. Da -da 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 Dutch. Call Dutch. Honey, I am so tired of our old, outdated bathroom. It's too expensive, and remodeling the bathroom takes forever. But I heard Dutch Enterprises and Luxury Bath of Southeast Missouri have a way to transform our bathroom faster, easier, and more affordable than most complete bathroom remodels. Dutch does custom work where we can pick out our own design, and I heard it can be done at a fraction of the cost of a complete bathroom remodel. Now you're talking my language. Let's call Dutch Enterprises to schedule a free in-home consultation. Call Dutch. Best of luck to Cape Central Tigers from Strickland Engineering. Providing mechanical, electrical, civil, structural, and industrial engineering, Strickland Engineering has solutions for a variety of clients. Reach out to Strickland for surveying services as well. Find Strickland online at stricklandengineering.com. That's stricklandengineering.com. For your local engineering excellence for over 40 years, Strickland Engineering is proud to support the Cape Central Tigers. Go Tigers! Are you ready to transform your space from drab to fab? Look no further than Stone Mountain Flooring, your one-stop destination for all your flooring needs. Whether you're revamping your home or giving your office a fresh new look, Stone Mountain's extensive selection of high-quality flooring will inspire your imagination and elevate your space. From LVT to carpet, tiles, and more, Stone Mountain has the perfect flooring solution for you. Call 573-335-8050 or visit Stone Mountain Flooring on Seamers Drive in Cape. Get in the game and show your support for your Central Tigers sports with Garber's Menswear. Their community-driven brand proudly supports these young athletes, fostering teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship. Garber's has been a community staple in the town plazas since 1960, and they're proud to support our youth as they grow into adult members of the community. Join them in cheering our student-athletes on to victory. Together, Garber's and our community can build a brighter future, one game at a time. Go Tigers! 
Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. When you need a helping hand, Allstate agent Matt Hester is here for you. He believes in protecting what matters most to you, from your home to your car to your life and everything in between. Allstate's Matt Hester can tailor a personalized insurance plan just for you. Contact Matt Hester today and experience what it's like to have an insurance agent truly care for you. Call 573-334-0996 or go online for quotes. You're in good hands with Allstate's Matt Hester. Let's head back to the booth. It's Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95.7. So back here at CBC as the Tigers would inbound it here to start the third quarter. As we work it over to the right side, give it off to Murray. He'll work it back to the top of the key, over to Reynolds, back to Murray near midcourt. Over to the left side for Rivers. He'll pull up for a deep three off the back of the rim and out. Rebound, though, will come to Reynolds. And he'll put it in off the glass for the putback, 38-34. The Cadets will work it over to Parson, to Bobo. He'll pull up for three. Got it. Bobo with another three-pointer. As Murray's wide open, he'll take a three. It hits the back of the rim and out. Rebound, though, Tyson, and he'll be fouled. So he'll go to the line, four and and one attempt. And Bryce Parson will pick up the foul. Nope, that shot from, oh, sorry, I added too many points. Never mind. 41-36 as Tyson will make the free throw. Make it 41-37. Set it up across the timeline. DeBose will dribble over to the right side. He's going to try to drive to the basket. Cut off by Murray. Gets it to Schlanger as he drives to the basket. Howard off the back of the rim and out. Rebound. He tried to put it back and it's stripped away. And now Murray will take it from one end to the other. And bounce it off the rim a couple times, and it'll fall through down to a two-point game. 41-39. Pulling up for a three is Garrett. That's no good. Rebound will come to the Cadets. We'll get it back out to Garrett. He'll start to drive, spins around, works it back out into the lane to Parson, he can't get that shot to fall. Schlanger will get the rebound. And they're going to say no shot. It's a foul on the floor. And it's going to be on Tyshondre Edwards. That's his second. Team foul number one here in the third quarter. 41 to 39 as Schlanger will get a shot to fall. And make it a four-point game. Pass over to the left side from uh, Murray over to Rivers. Back around the outside. Back to Murray again on the left side. Now he'll work it back towards midcourt on the CBC logo. Over to the right side for Reynolds. Reynolds tries to get it down to Rivers. He'll kick it back out. Now over to Reynolds on the right side. Thought about a three, but he'll kick it over to Rivers. Back to the top of the key for Murray. Drives in, kicks it out in the left corner for three. It's short. Rebound Rivers. He's going to lean towards the basket. Can't get that shot to go. And Edwards will be fouled as he tries to get the put back off the rebound. And it'll send Edwards to the line to shoot two. And that foul is on Schlanger. That's his second. Edwards will shoot two. 5.31 left here in the third, 45.39, sorry, 43.39. And Edwards will make his first. Sam Scott, Tyler Weber check in. Edwards can't make the second. The rebound will come to CBC, and the pass is tipped, and it'll go out of bounds. Let's 
Stay with CBC as the inbounder right in front of the Tiger bench. Back up to Scott. To DeBose, he'll drive to the basket and he lays it up and in. And as Darion DeBose picks up a basket here in the third quarter, back out to Murray. Over to Reynolds. Gives it to Edwards, he'll pull up for a jumper from the free throw line, rolls around the rim and out. Rebound though comes to Reynolds, his shot is blocked. Tipping in the rebound will be brought down by Weber. Now Weber will get it out to Garrett, who's going to bring it up court for the cadets. Over to the left side, driving the lane, kicks it out to Bobo in the left corner, back towards the top of the key. Weber will turn around and just give it right back to Garrett. Garrett drives in, passes down to the baseline for Weber. And somehow Weber was able to keep the pass away from Reynolds as he tried to steal it away. As Williams will hang in the air for a hesitation shot, can't get it to fall, but he gets his own rebound. Pump fake, leans to the basket, banks it in off the glass. And we'll get a timeout. It's a full timeout, so we'll take it with him. We'll be right back after this. You're listening to Cape Central Tiger Basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. Get in the game and show your support for your Central Tiger sports with Garber's Menswear. Their community-driven brand proudly supports these young athletes, fostering teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship. Garber's has been a community staple in the town plazas since 1960, and they're proud to support our youth as they grow into adult members of the community. Join them in cheering our student athletes on to victory. Together, Garber's and our community can build a brighter future, one game at a time. Go Tigers! Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. When you need a helping hand, Allstate agent Matt Hester is here for you. He believes in protecting what matters most to you, from your home to your car to your life and everything in between. Allstate's Matt Hester can tailor a personalized insurance plan just for you. Contact Matt Hester today and experience what it's like to have an insurance agent truly care for you. Call 573-334-0996 or go online for quotes. You're in good hands with Allstate's Matt Hester. Every dunk, every shot, every block. It's Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95-7. 4.15 left here in the third quarter as the Tigers took a full timeout and CBC will inbound it here on the baseline after the made basket. And Weber will inbound it into Garrett. 47-42. Tigers trail by five. Into the top of the key, Weber to the free throw line, spins towards the basket, hesitates, goes up and under. Damn. And he'll get it to go into the basket. Sorry about that, forgot to move the camera. So he gets his shot to fall, and he's fouled by Rivers, team foul number one, first personal. And Weber will miss. Murray has it near the top of the key over to the left side for Rivers. Rivers into the free throw line, down to the baseline for Williams. And he'll put it off the glass and in. 49-44. Here we'll pass it off to the right side, back to Weber. We'll get it to Garrett, he'll throw it across and it's gonna be stolen away by the Tigers. Bounce pass up to Rivers and he's gonna lay it up and in. A nice little steal there by Edwards to get it up to Rivers. And as we go back the other way down into the right corner, back out to the wing for DuBose. Down inside, Weber almost had it stolen away. Get it out to DuBose, his three is no good. Rebound comes to Murray. Murray will pass all the way down court to Rivers. He'll get it to Edwards as he drives to the basket. He can't get a shot to foul. He's, or sorry, can't get a shot to go, but he's fouled. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul was on Tyler Weber. So Edwards will shoot two. 49 to 46, Tigers down by three. Edwards' first free throw is up and it's good. So 
Second free throw from Edwards is also good. So he goes two for two from the line. Makes it a one-point game, 49-48. Bringing the ball up court for the Cadets. Gets it to Weber at the free throw line, and he'll pass it straight to Tyson Williams. As he comes away with the steal, he's going to drive down court. Tough shot, rolls around and in, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for an and one as he gives the Tigers a one-point lead. Tyler Weber picks up his third personal. As Tyson Williams will shoot his and one attempt here, and he makes it to give the Tigers a two-point lead. 51 to 49. As the Tigers have come back here in this third quarter to lead by two. Here, Garrett on the CBC logo. He'll dump it down into the lane. Schlanger will turn to the basket and get it to go over the front of the rim, and he ties the game at 51. Rivers gets the pass from Williams. Rivers will drive the lane, gives it back to Williams. One dribble to the basket, and it... He looked like he kind of expected maybe some contact there as he was leaning towards the basket. The defense just let him take the shot, and the Tigers lead by two. And I guess that whistle was not. There was no timeout called. So the cadets will have to come back out on the floor. Both teams come back out on the floor to inbound the ball and keep going. 2-10 left here in the third. Garrett directs traffic as he gets it across the timeline. Bounce pass down to Schlanger, and they're going to get a call on Tyshondre Edwards. That's his third. Team foul number three. As they'll inbound it on the baseline, they'll get it into Garrett. He'll pull up for three, and that's no good rebound. Tipped, but it'll be grabbed by Tyson Williams. And now we're going to go the other way with the Tigers up by two with a minute 50 to go. Big Euro step hop down to the basket. And he'll kick it back out for Rivers. Rivers near midcourt. Starts to dribble, gets a screen. Dribbles to the right side, passes it off to Edwards. Edwards over to Williams on the left side. Drives to the free throw line, hands it off to Edwards. Edwards, jumper, got it. Four point lead now for the Tigers as the cadets will push it down court quickly, works it back out, gives it to Weber. And Weber will get it to fall for the cadets, and it's a one-point game. And there'll be a foul call down on the baseline on Tyler Weber. That's his fourth. And after Weber made the three, he commits a foul. And he'll pick up his fourth. So Edwards will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. So Weber will come out and Parson will come in with a minute three left here in the third. Weber with the four fouls. You don't want him to pick up another one. Second free throw short off the front of the rim. So it's a two-point game. As we go back the other way, all the way across to Bobo in the left corner for three. No good. Rebound Reynolds. And now Reynolds will push it up court to the top of the key, into the lane. And a little hesitation off balance. It's no good. Rebound will come to the Cadets. They'll get it out to Garrett. He's going to push it up court into the lane for Schlanger. His shot's no good. Rebound is tipped, but it comes back to CBC, and the shot will go up and in. I think they said his name is Jones. As CBC has tied the game up, and now the shot from Williams is no good. And Cadets, the Cadets with the rebound get it just across half court. 14 seconds to go here in the third. And Garrett's going to be content with dribbling out and trying to pull up for the last shot here at the end of the third. He'll drive. Pump fake. And he can get it to go. He does get it to fall. 
And that'll do it for the third quarter. So we go to the third with CBC leading by two, 58 to 56. We'll be back after this. Is your life stuck in a rut? Or maybe you just need to schedule time with friends. At the Cape Girardeau Career and Technology Center, we offer short-term personal enrichment classes, such as motorcycle safety, photography, sewing, painting, ballroom dancing, and more. Visit our website at capectc.com for a full listing of classes we offer. Your career and technology center, Cape Girardeau CTC. The CTC is a proud supporter of Cape Central High School. Go Tigers! Get in the game and show your support for your Central Tiger sports with Garber's Men's Wear. Their community-driven brand proudly supports these young athletes, fostering teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship. Garber's has been a community staple in the town plazas since 1960, and they're proud to support our youth as they grow into adult members of the community. Join them in cheering our student-athletes on to victory. Together, Garber's and our community can build a brighter future, one game at a time. Go Tigers! You're home for Cape Central Tigers basketball. Cape Radio 95-7. So back here we start the fourth quarter. CBC up by two. 58-56. And it'll be Tiger basketball here to start this fourth quarter. In the third quarter, the Tigers outscored CBC 24 to 20 to get back within two after being scored, being outscored 22 to eight in the second quarter. Sorry, I said the Tigers hit the ball. The Cadets will start here with the basketball as Garrett has it over on the left side. He'll try to get it down inside. It's knocked away by Schlanger over to Garrett. Garrett pulls up for three and he got it to fall. Down on the other end, driving to the basket is Murray. And Murray will be fouled. Bryce Parson will pick up a foul. That's his second. And Murray will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. 61-57. Tigers down by four, and nah, make it three. As Murray will make both free throws, 61-58. Here it will bring the ball up slowly for the Cadets. Get it across the timeline. Bounce pass over to the right side. To Parson, gives it back to Garrett. Drives, kicks it out towards the top of the key for Jones, down inside. Now to Schlanger as he drives to the basket, and they'll get just enough of that one-handed dunk. Driving the lane towards the basket at 63 to 58. Over to the right side, Murray for three, got it. It's a two point game now, 63, 61. As the crowd was kind of buzzing from that dunk and Murray said, that's enough of that. Now that shot is no good, rebound comes to Parson and then the pass into Schlanger. And it'll be fouled, looks like, by Edwards. That'll be his fourth. Inbound to Schlanger, and he'll put it right off the glass and in. Quickly down to the other end. Murray over to the left side. Rivers open, takes the three. No good, rebound will come to CBC, pushing it down court. He's actually losing the basketball as Garrett. He's able to pick it up now, and he'll work it back towards midcourt. He'll start to drive, guarded by Edwards, loses the basketball, works it back out to midcourt again. Drives the lane and will lay it up and in. And it's a six point game now, 67 to 61. Reynolds has it just across half court. Dribbles to the right side, gets cut off. Back over to the top to the left side for Rivers. To Murray, he'll pull up for a deep three off the back of the rim and out. Rebound comes to Tyson Williams. 
He'll get it out to Edwards. He's at the top of the key. He'll pull up for three. That's no good. Rebound will come to Garrett. And now Garrett will push it up court for the Cadets. Over to the right side, pump fake from Jones. His three is too strong, goes off the backboard into the hands of Reynolds, up to Tyson Williams, and he'll lay it up and in. And then we get a timeout by uh, the Tigers. And it's 67-63 here with 5.36 to go in the fourth. So the game looked like it was going to be kind of pulling away there at the beginning. In the first quarter, the Tigers pulled away. They were up 24 to 16 after the first. But then in the second quarter, CBC outscored the Tigers 22 to eight. And it looked like they, maybe they were gonna try to kind of pull away. And then in that third quarter, the Tigers were able to cut it down, cut that lead down there, outscored the Cadets by four in the third. And now they have been, been outscored here by just two points here in the fourth, back to that four point lead for the Cadets. And CBC will inbound it down on the baseline. We'll inbound it to Garrett. He's going to take his time bringing the ball up. Court for the Cadets. CBC won the state championship. Pulling up for a deep three. Garrett, that's no good. Rebound though, Schlanger, he'll dump it down inside. Shot blocked against the backboard by Edwards, but unfortunately it came to Jones and he'll get it in off the backboard for the putback. And it's 69 to 63. Williams driving the baseline, bounce pass over to Edwards and it's gonna go past his hands and out of bounds. With 5.01 left here in the uh, fourth quarter. Inbound to Jones, he'll get it back to Garrett. And now Garrett's gonna get picked up by two defenders and we're gonna get a timeout by CBC as it was getting a little too close for comfort for Garrett. And so they'll take just a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep it right here on 104.7 The Bridge. 69-63, the Tigers trail, 4.52 left here in the fourth quarter. As the Tigers with four players in double digit, digits here so far. Tyson Williams with 16, Markwell Murray with 18, Vyshondre Edwards with 14, Jason Reynolds, or Jay Reynolds with 11. And then three players in double figures for CBC, Elijah Bobo with 14, Tyler Weber with 18, and Teron Garrett with 13. Weber with the 18, but he has been out of this game for a little while now due to foul trouble. He has four personal fouls. And CBC will inbound it just to the, depending on which way you're looking, just to the left or right of the Tiger bench. Jones will get it here as he'll push it up court, get it across half court, has it knocked away by Rivers. Pass up to Murray, wasn't very strong, but Murray's able to get it. He'll dribble, pull up for three on the left side, off the back of the rim and out. Rebound, tipped, and Williams will come away with it. He'll get it out to Reynolds. Pump fake, gets his man to fly through the air. That three is too strong, it's the back of the rim and out. Rebound, though, to Edwards. Edwards puts the ball on the floor, and then we're going to go foul on CBC as he tried to steal that ball away from Edwards, and he got just a little bit too much of Edwards. That's uh, Guns, Gus Benson, Gus Benson Moore. Pass out to Williams, top of the key, over to the right side. Reynolds for three, got it. Some contact, but no call. And it's a three-point game, 69 to 66. Jay Reynolds with the big three as they get it down to Bobo on the left side. And he's gonna pass it back out to Jones now to half court. 3.59 to go here in the fourth. 
As Garrett will work it over the right side, direct traffic, he tells everyone to clear out. He wants to try a one-on-one -on -one situation against Rivers. A little bit of a fade away, and Garrett gets it to fall. Teron Garrett is one of the better players on the team for CBC. As Reynolds bounce pass over to Murray down to the baseline for Williams. His little reverse shot can't go. Rebound, though, is picked up by Edwards. He'll get it out to Murray, and Murray will end up traveling and turning the ball over. So 71 to 66 with three and a half go, 329 actually, left here in the fourth quarter as Bobo will inbound it on the sideline. He'll get it into Garrett. Tigers in a full court press. Garrett will work it over to the near sideline. And they're gonna say he carried the basketball and we're going back the other way with the Cape Central possession. A five point game, 71 to 66. Murray drives the lane, passes it off to Williams, pump fake. Kicks it out to Reynolds over on the right corner. Bounce pass into the right corner for Murray. He'll drive in down to the baseline for Edwards, and he's going to be fouled by Schlanger, and that will send him to the line to shoot two. Schlanger will pick up his third. So 3-0-3 left here in the fourth. As the Tigers trail by five with Edwards at the line to shoot two. And he'll make the first. So the substitution for CBC, Tyler Weber checks back into the game as Edwards will make both free throws. It's a three-point game with three minutes to go, 71-68. Garrett gets trapped. He'll get it up to Schlinger. Schlinger. Gets it below the three-point line down to Weber, and Weber is going to pick up his fifth foul as he gets called for the charge. And that will do it for him as he is done. He'll foul out, and he'll finish with 18 points. Two forty-eight left, 71-68. Tigers down by three. As Murray drives in the lane, kicks it to Edwards. Edwards with an off-balance prayer throw-up shot. He just threw that one up there and got it to go over the front of the rim and hit enough of the backboard to fall through. It's 71-70 to with just over two and a half. Ball tipped, now stolen away by the Tigers as River comes away with it. He'll get it up to Murray. Murray into the free throw line. Edwards with a turnaround jumper from the free throw line. That's no good. In and out, ball on the floor, and it'll be picked up by CBC. Pass down court over to the right side. Pulling up for three is Jones. It's short, rebound. And it's, oh, that should have been a travel. It was fought for by two CBC players. And now Sam Scott will get himself a bucket and make it 73 to 70. Murray on the right side, pulls up for three, the short rebound, and Rivers couldn't get to it, and it's gonna go out of bounds, last touch by. Rivers thought that CBC touched it, that's why he didn't go grab it. And now Murray is, he had to go to the bench, seems to be something wrong with him, maybe his knee or his shin. So Antonio Sims will check into the game for the Tigers with a minute 50 to go. Pass stolen by Rivers. He just came out of nowhere. And up and under reverse layup, and he gets that to go as the Tigers are down by one, 73 to 72. And they're going to call a foul on Jay Reynolds. Just foul number one, like I said, on Reynolds. Two for the Tigers. Four team fouls for the Cadets. They'll inbound it 
to Jones. He's going to push it up court, almost had it stolen away, and that's going to be a travel as he went up, lost the ball, came down with it, and then took a couple steps. And the Tigers get it now with a minute 33. Down by just one point. 73-72. Across half court, top of the key. Bounce pass into Edwards. He has it knocked away. It's loose. He has it knocked away again. Ball on the floor, and it'll be picked up by Schlanger, who will get it out to Garrett. And now Garrett's going to take his time, bringing the ball up. He'll pass across half court over to Bobo. Back to Garrett, top of the key. Pulls up for three, and... Garrett's going to be fouled by Tyson Williams as Williams got the block, but then the rest of his body caught up with him and picks up a foul. That'll send Garrett to the line to shoot three. A minute nine left here in the fourth, 73-72. as Garrett steps to the line for his first free throw attempt. It's up and it's good. It's a two point lead for the cadets. As everyone came off the court that was gonna be subbed out too early, you gotta wait till after the second one on a three free throws, on three free throws. And he makes the second, so it's 75-72, three point game. Murray back in the game. He will come in for Antonio Sims. And we're gonna get a timeout by the cadets. It's a full timeout, so we'll take it with them. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Cape Central Tiger Basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. Call Dutch, da -da 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 Dutch, call Dutch. Honey, I am so tired of our old, outdated bathroom. It's too expensive, and remodeling the bathroom takes forever. But I heard Dutch Enterprises and Luxury Bath of Southeast Missouri have a way to transform our bathroom faster, easier, and more affordable than most complete bathroom remodels. Dutch does custom work where we can pick out our own design, and I heard it can be done at a fraction of the cost of a complete bathroom remodel. Now you're talking my language. Let's call Dutch Enterprises to schedule a free in-home consultation. Call Dutch. When you walk through the doors of St. Francis, you're putting your health first because our doctors know how important you are to your friends, to your family, and to a community that we're proud to call home. We know what the people of this community mean because we are those people. And that's why at St. Francis, people come first. Back to the action. It's Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95-7. Oh, the Tigers trail by three with a 109 left here in the fourth. As Garrett has another free throw yet. He's made two out of the three. He's here to shoot it. He's getting ready to shoot his third. A well, minute nine left here in the fourth. Garrett steps to the line. His third free throw is good. So he'll make all three. Makes it a four point game, 76-72. Murray dribbles between the legs, top of the key. The minute five left, down into the left corner for Williams. He'll drive the baseline, kicks it out for Reynolds. Reynolds for three, that's no good. Rebound though, Rivers, he'll get it to Williams. Williams goes up, he's fouled, it's good. He goes to the line for an add one. Schlanger will pick up his fourth as Bobo checks back into the game. 76-74, Tyson Williams at the line shooting an and one opportunity. And he'll miss his free throw, but it comes out to Rivers who gets the rebound. 52 seconds left here in the fourth. Over to the right side, Murray. Pass across, left side. Edwards down to the baseline. Williams will be fouled, but it doesn't matter. He's going to the line to shoot two as that's over the limit for the free throws here in the fourth with 40 seconds left. The 
foul was on Sam Scott. That's his first. And now Tyson Williams at the line to shoot two. 76-74, first one short off the front of the rim. Carrier will check back into the game for CBC. Williams, he'll make the second. One point game, 76-75. Carrier will inbound it here on the baseline, gets it into Garrett. Garrett double teamed, oh! And they're gonna call a foul on Tyson Williams. That's his fourth personal. Team foul number four. So Garrier will inbound it in again. Darren Jones will check in. And he's gonna inbound it here on the baseline now. He'll get it into Schlanger. Schlanger bounce pass back to Jones. Passing it up court. Down to Bobo. Bobo just gets it up over the outstretched hand of Marquell Murray. And now Reynolds will drive down. Off balance shot. No good. Rebound will be grabbed by CBC. Down to Garrett. And Garrett will throw it down. And we're going back the other way over to Edwards. Edwards for three. May have been partially blocked. I don't know. Murray gets it. Eight seconds. Passes it out. Rivers for three. Off the back of the rim. Rebound Reynolds. He'll pull up for three. That's no good. And the Tigers are going to fall by five. They'll fall 80 to 75 to the CBC Cadets in a game that almost, that well, it pretty much did come down to the wire. As the Tigers did what they could there in the end of the fourth to try to get a three-pointer. As unfortunately not enough to come away with the win against another tough St. Louis school as CBC, they won the state championship last year in the Tigers, unfortunately, they did put up a good fight here against a good basketball team. And it's like I said, they were the state champions last year in 2022. CBC, the class six, district three, they were in the class, same class as Jack, or they are in the same class as Jackson. And they were the champions last year, so the Tigers will fall to 12 and six now on the season. And we'll just go straight into the post game show here for you as unfortunately the Tigers, like I said, falling by five points for CBC. Elijah Bobo with 16. And I gotta get my roster back out so I can see what everyone's first name is. Malik Nevels, he didn't have any points actually. Obey Guerrero, or Garrier, had two. Logan Schlanger with eight. Sam Scott with two. Tyler Weber with 18. Teron Garrett with 20. Dor Dorian DeBose with four. Bryce Parson with four. And. Jones with six. And then for the Tigers, Mateo Rivers had six points. Tyson Williams with 19. Markwell Murray with 18. Tyshondra Edwards with 18. And Jay Reynolds with 14. Score by quarter, the Tigers had 24 in the first, eight in the second, 24 in the third, 19 in the fourth. And then for CBC, they had 16 in the first, 22 in the second, 20 in the third, and 22 in the fourth. So another hard fought game for the Tigers playing against another tough St. Louis school. And the next game will be Friday night against Carruthersville at home. 
And that game is scheduled to start at regular 7.30 time. So the Tigers will play at home at 7.30 today. It was just it's a half hour earlier, mostly just because of the travel. Usually when you have to play a St. Louis school, or I should say not just a St. Louis school, but when you play a school that's, I think, so much further away during the week, they try to get the game started early so the road team can get home at a decent hour. And so it started a little bit early today. And we'll start back at normal time on Friday. And then on Saturday, we'll play Eureka at the sixth man shootout in Charleston. So the Tigers will have two games back to back Friday and Saturday after a tough one here today. And that'll do it for us here tonight. Uh, for Anthony back at the station, I'm Ryan Winkler. I'll see you on Friday. Once again, the Tigers fall 80 to 75 to CBC. You've been listening to Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk. This presentation of Cape Central Tigers basketball has been brought to you by Allstate Hester Agency, Cape Career and Technology Center, Dutch Enterprises, Garber's Men's Wear, St. Francis Medical Systems, Stone Mountain Carpet, Strickland Engineering, and DollarSavingDeals.com. Join us next time for more Cape Central Tigers basketball on Cape Radio 95.7 FM News Talk.